Welcome to Technically Speaking, where we help you increase your income through tech. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And we're going to continue our OSI model layer series, okay? And today we're diving into layer four of the OSI, the transport layer. So let's go ahead and get started. So what exactly is the transport layer? Think of it as the traffic controller of your network communication system. The transport layer is responsible for reliable data transfer and it transfers data between devices. It ensures that this data arrives at its destination intact and in the correct order, okay? Now at layer four, data is broken down into smaller pieces called segments. And these segments are like puzzle pieces. Each needs to reach the destination to complete the whole message, okay? Now there are two key protocols that operate at the transport layer, TCP and UDP, okay? Now TCP or transmission control protocol is like a careful mailman, right? It guarantees that all segments are delivered and in the correct order. It even acts for confirmation that everything arrives safely. Now with TCP, you also get what's called a three-way handshake. This is how two devices agree to start communication. The sender says, hey, are you there? And the receiver, receiver responds, yep, I'm here. And then the sender says again, great, let's talk. This is why TCP is so reliable, but also slower than UDP. All right now, on the other hand, UDP is used for things like video streaming or online gaming, where speed is more important than reliability. If a packet or two gets lost, it's no big deal. And to sum up everything, the transport layer does these three main things breaks down data into segments, uses protocols like TCP for reliability or UDP for speed and ensures communication happens smoothly between devices, all right? Now, that's layer four, the transport layer, in a nutshell, really. <laughs> if you found this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech breakdowns. See you in the next video. Oh, and remember, mastering networking starts one layer at a time.